My name's Jason O'Rourke, I'm the head teacher of Washingborough Academy, which is in the heart of Lincolnshire. Schools are here for academic achievement, but they're also here for children's health and well-being as well. And what we do at our schools have a really big emphasis on children's food education. We have developed across the grounds, raised beds for each of the classes, but also a big kitchen garden and a polytunnel, because I'm very keen for the children to know that if you plant stuff and you nurture it, and you weed it, and then you harvest it, take it up to our kitchen and have it for lunch, they are more inclined to eat those, that produce because they have an investment in it as well. The work that we do in the garden involves children going down and working with our dedicated gardener who then talks the children through the type of produce that we're hopefully going to, to grow, talks about the actual seeds. The children are then planting those seeds individually, they're then watering them and then they plant them out as well. But we went out there and we were planting some seeds and drawing a line to put them in. So we're very keen for it not just to stop in the garden, so they will then harvest the food from the allotments and from the raised beds, and they will either be used in our food education lessons, or we take them up to our school kitchen and they're used within the, uh, the salad bars or the um, food that the chef prepares. When it goes to chef, they would wash it, then they'd snip it, like the salads, and they'd um, cook it, some of it and then they'd serve it for hot school meals for the ones who don't have packed lunches. There's like meatballs with like pasta and veg. They also have like a salad bar that like we can pick what salad we have. When I first came I said to them, where do you get lettuce from? They said Tesco. Now they say we get it out our garden. We're part of the um, Soil Association's Food for Life Served Here Award and have managed to get the gold. So that means a lot of the produce that we have that we do buy from outside is either from Lincolnshire or the surrounding counties and we're up to about 40 to 50% organic produce as well. Taste Ed is a, a, a programme that we use in our food education lessons, especially with our younger children. We want to expand the children's palates. What Taste Ed does is looks at their senses and exposes the children to food by hearing it, by looking at it and, it and talking about it and ultimately by tasting it at the end. Quite spicy. Soft. It's like very calm. Mm. Good. Each of our classes within the school are linked with a farmer through FaceTime and what the children do is every two weeks they link up with the farmer and so the children are seeing what a modern day farm looks like. So it's a great education for the children and gets them enthused about where their food comes from, about the profession as well and hopefully it will lead on to some children entering the, the, the farming industry. We have the FaceTime a farmer uh, programme which is effective, but we want the children to actually experience it live. So what we do is classes of children go out and visit a farm. That complements all the kind of food education work that, that they're doing. It becomes full circle. They know where their food is coming from. And then when they come back here, they can do lots of activities based on that real life experience that they've had. Education is a multifaceted thing. It's, it, there's all types of aspects that go into a child's education, especially at the primary years. And a child's health and well-being must be paramount. If you put food education and this connection with their food, where it comes from, at the heart of your learning ethos, your children will be better informed about their own health and their own well-being. We decide where we want the plants and we like get them out of the pot and we put them where we want them and we watch them grow every day. There needs to be a real focus on children's health and well-being and how we as a school can really have a positive impact on that and this project that we're involved in and the work that we do in this school does have that positive impact.